Hey guys, what's going on? Nathan here, and welcome to another Wi-Fi battle. Now, first of all, I do really want to apologise for the lack of uploads this week. I do have reasons. Main reason being, I've been the final process of moving rooms has just taken months, and I want to be putting a video out tomorrow just explaining that and why I haven't been uploading just a full video. But we're back with a Wi-Fi battle today, running our normal party box team. I don't know why I've called it that. Excuse me. And we're going against someone from Japan. And as you can see, they're a full ghost type team except for Gollum. Is that his name? No, Gollum. No, it's not. Gold Orc. Um, so yeah, so I decided to start with Greninja because he has the protein ability, so that can get me some advantages. And also I thought with Dark Pulse that would be effective. Annoyingly enough though, he did uh, start with Sableye, which has very minimal weaknesses, and I'm pretty sure Dark, well Dark is not super effective. So I still thought, well Greninja is a, he's always a good starter because he's got um, the Life Orb to boost his attack. And he does the cheeky fake out, which oh, it's one of those annoying moves. It doesn't do much damage, but in terms of competitive battling, it can be really annoying. So I stick with Dark Pulse because that's what I'm going to do, uh, but then obviously uh, she decides to uh, Mega Evolve it, which I kind of didn't, you know, I don't know why she didn't do that first, because surely that would have boosted its attack a bit and done that, but I, I don't know, I'm not going to question that. So I do Dark Pulse and obviously the Protein ability changes it to Dark type, and it actually does more than I expect, well I, I expected it to get to Orange under half, but that was annoying, but as you see there we got lucky and we got the flinch, and I thought, yes that's great, that's like actually something going my way for a change. Um, so I thought, well, I'll do Dark Pulse again because I've seen the damage it does. It's probably better move to do than the rest. I was hoping for a critical, uh, but it didn't do that, which was annoying. And obviously I'm losing HP every time with that. And he then does Knock Off, which I thought, oh, it's a kind of weird move to do. Obviously it's not effective and it knocked off my Life Orb. But then this is when the true Sableye Dick uh, really did come out. And he does Psycho Punch, which is one of those moves I just hate. And obviously that would have knocked me out. Even though it's not effective, it... Um, yeah, that was quite annoying. So he knocked out my first Pokemon, but I thought, well, you know, he's red. Let's send out Garchomp. Because I had I had him second because of um, the Fire Blast against Go uh, Golrook, how you say it? Because obviously he's still typing. And I thought, well, come on, I must be faster than him. Then I stupidly, well, I didn't realise this. I realised it once he did it. He has Sucker Punch, obviously. And, you know, it, it annoys me how it does so much damage, in a way, on him. But luckily, the Rocky Helmet, which Garchomp held, uh, it knocked him out. I thought, oh my god, this is going good. He's, we're one on one now. I've got basically a full HP Garchomp with the speed and the attack stat there, so you know, it's going good for me. Then he sends out Gengar, and I'm like, oh crap, because I'm not, I haven't actually checked his stats properly, I don't remember them, but get, get, for me, whenever I face Gengar online, he is so blim and bulky, it's so annoying. I actually didn't know he could learn G Dazzling Gleam, that was my mistake, but I don't know how, but he endured it, and I thought, okay, well, Fire Blast. This hopefully should be a nice stab move and get around Orange, but as you see, it you know, that's like, that's hardly any HP in terms of competitive battling, because obviously there's a, that's a lot of moves to take down. So I thought, well, there's no point switching out now, because if I switch out... I wanted to keep Garchomp in, in for the Fire Blast, but then I kind of thought, he's probably going to be outsped. Because I, I just find every Pokemon I battle on here, even if they're, like, bad in speed, they just, they just always outspeed me. And the thing is, my team is fully IV... Well, it's about 5 to 6 IV, some being 4 IV Pokemon, with trained EVs in their certain nature. But I just always seem to be outsped, and it's annoying. And Metagross uh, in particular, I really got a cheap chip bullet punch because having that speed advantage, when, for example, with the whole Sableye thing, would have really helped uh, and, you know, knocked him out while saving my HP. So whenever I have Metagross, I always Mega Evolve it, obviously. And obviously, because I'm pretty sure the Gengar might have Levitate, Psychic it isn't, uh, it doesn't even affect it, and obviously, um, uh, Grass Knot wouldn't have worked. I did Meteor Mash. And this has happened twice now. This is literally, when I was here, I was like, this is literally just like the last episode. I can Gengar, Destiny Bond, and obviously here comes the Meteor Mash. It does an amazing stab move, knocks it out, and then Destiny Bond takes me down. And it really annoys me because surely you could have free Pokemon with Destiny Bond and do this every time. Or as soon as you get the advantage, just do that. And I sh that's, it just seems so newbie. I don't know why it works like that. There must be a way to overcome it, but I don't know what to do when it comes to that. So if you guys have any tips, uh, you know, it would be nice to have some comments on that. But... As I said, I know I lost, but I wanted to upload it anyway, just because, you know, I'm, I like recording these videos and uploading them just for the pureliness of fun, and, you know, hopefully I can teach you guys uh, some, you know, uh, in, you know, amateurs into this, something, even though I'm an amateur myself, it's just fun doing it, and, you know, and I just want to have a blast doing it, so I've enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys have too, though, most importantly. Make sure you like, well, no, please rate the video if you enjoyed it or didn't, I'd like to see that. Uh, I don't know what I'm even saying anymore, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, goodbye. Thanks for watching.